I'm trying to make a video, and he just he just jumps on me. I don't know what to do with it. Yeah, adios. Hey guys, I'm Elliot. This is everything Elliot, and I just unloaded one of my firewood bins. So I have this empty bin here, and uh, today we're gonna use some math to find out how much wood actually fits in these. Now I use these to store all my firewood in because I can move it around with my tractor. I take it right from the splitter, store it, and then when it's time to be put in the house, I can just fork it over to the front door of the mudroom and then take it right into the house there. Obviously I have to unload it outside and walk it into the mudroom where I stack it, but this cuts out a lot of handling of the firewood. Now I've seen a lot of other channels, a lot of other guys that use these. However, I've never really seen a true answer of how much wood actually fits in these. If I were to guess, I would say it's gonna be somewhere between a third of a cord to a half cord. I think there's gonna be a sweet spot in there. Theodore, stop messing with the tripod. Sorry about that. You know, and, and we're just gonna act like wood is a liquid because when you measure out a cord, it's four foot long, I'm sorry, it's four foot wide, eight foot long, four foot tall. Now obviously wood is not a liquid, so there's gonna be air space in there. So the wood doesn't occupy the entire area, or I should say, doesn't occupy the entire volume of that measurement. And the wood naturally is not going to occupy the same volume of this measurement either. But we're gonna compare apples to apples, comparing the volume of a cord of wood to the volume of whatever this is. Now to do that, we're gonna to have to do some math. I'm gonna grab a tape measure. We're gonna take some measurements, pull out the old calculator. And uh, I might not get this right on my first try because he, he's something else. Like I was saying, I might not get this right on my first time. I haven't done math like this since high school. So we're gonna figure it out together though. So if we're gonna do a cord of wood as it stands, you've got four foot times four foot times eight foot. So that's gonna be 128 cubic feet. Now, we're gonna be working in, well, I guess it doesn't really matter. I'd like to get as accurate as possible. So we're 128 cubic feet. So what I've done here is I've just made a note. You can see my, hey, hi, hello. A note of a uh, cord of wood is 128 foot cubed. So let's take some measurements on this and see what this is gonna hold. Now I'm thinking this is gonna come out in inches because you know I, I'd like to get as close as possible and we might have to just translate that uh, cubic foot to cubic inch, which should be pretty easy. You should just multiply the 128 times 12. You are wrong! We'll find out what we get here. So the height is four feet, which is pretty simple. The width is 38 inches. Well, we'll call that depth. The depth is 38 and the width is 46. So I think I'm gonna be pretty close, but we're gonna use inches just because two out of the three measurements are in inches. We'll just convert that 128 cubic feet. And see, I already forgot my measurements. I think it was four feet tall, 38, 46. So we've got 48 times 46 times, what did I say, 36? So 79,488 cubic inches. And sorry about the shaky camera, Theodore again is hitting the tripod. So seven, okay, okay, go away, shoo, go on. 79,488 cubic inches. So like I was saying, we've got uh, 128 cubic feet and 79,488 cubic inches in the tote. So we'll take that 128, multiply it by 12 and see what we get. Done something wrong again, haven't I? 128 times 12. That can't be right. Like I was saying, I got 1,500 square or cubic inches, and that cannot be right. So let's do this again. Let's do the cord in inches. So 8 times 12, 96. 4 times 12 is 48. So 96 times 48 times 48. See, that looks a little closer. 221,184. Let's change that. 221,184. Okay, and that's inches cubed. So now we have to divide those two numbers to get a percentage, and that'll tell us how much wood is in these totes. So divided by 79,488, 
and 278% because again, I haven't done this math since high school and I did it backwards. We got to start with a small number. 79,488 divided by 221184. 221184 equals 35%. Wow. That's a lot less than I thought. I mean, it's more than a third. I did guess, so let's make it easy. That gives you your percent, 35.93%. I guessed at a third, well, that's a lie. I guessed a third and a half, and we got 35.93%. Now again, I haven't done math like this since high school. I've said it a couple times already. So if I'm doing something wrong, let me know in the comments. Throw your math skills. Use my measurements. Tell me if I did something wrong. But uh, it's a lot less than I thought it was going to be. I thought it'd be. I thought it'd be a little higher. Guys, advertise these as selling them as a face cord, or uh, for you, some crazy people that call it a rick. I don't know why you call it a rick, but I guess that's what you call it. At least a face cord I can explain. You've got a cord of wood. It's three rows of 16-inch logs, and then. The face of it, the first row, is the face cord. That's where face cord comes from. Anywho, some guys were selling this as a face cord, and I thought it was actually more than a face cord, and I thought that they were giving money away. But now that I do the math, I'm at 35%. A face cord is essentially 33% of a cord. So I, I guess they're right in the face cord of the tote. Now this is a 330 gallon container. Uh, they do make larger container, or no they don't. I think 330 gallon is the largest, but they do make 175, like 250, 275 or something. I prefer to use the big one, obviously because you can fit the most wood in, but if you only can get your hands on the smaller ones, you gotta use what's available for you. So like I was saying, if my math was wrong, make sure you leave a comment and uh, that's gonna be it. I'm glad we were able to solve this mathematically. At least I think it's solved, but Hope you guys learned something with me here today. Make sure you check out some of my other videos, and I hope you guys have a great day.